okay so in our previous session we have seen that some of the draw tools like how to draw a line and oval circles and three point circles and uh, today in this video we will see the remaining tools so that is arc and arc by three points arc by center ellipse splines construction points and construction points at intersection so before entering into that uh, particular tools i need to clear the existing sketches so all i need is go to the model and uh, right click the sketch and say delete and say yes so the entire sketch will be deleted after that just click on look at and select the plane and say new sketch a new sketch will be created go into uh, sketching environment and the first option is arc by tangent for that i need a line so only if i have a line so i can draw a tangential arc uh, to that particular line so just go to the line option i just select the line so this is my starting point and this is my end point so this line is should be a horizontal line and after that uh, it always need not to be a horizontal line but for that uh, it's selected as a horizontal line and i just select the arc by tangent all we need is just select the starting point and from this point and you need to uh, select the arc length okay so an arc will be created so this arc is exactly tangential to this line at this point okay so this is called arc by tangential option so whatever the whenever you need this option you can use from here and after that you have an option called arc by three points so all you need is you need to uh, select the three points so this is my first point and this is my second point and this is my third point so which is uh, denoting the uh, how much curvature or radius of the particular arc so either so uh, this is my third points a uh, three point arc will be created okay so and the last option in arc is only we have a three types of option to create an arc in design modeler and the last option is arc by center so first you need to select the center point and you need to draw a circle after that the arc length so how much length you need in the arc so for example i need a 120 or whatever the length you may so after that you can change the entire value so that will be covered in the uh, dimension session in depthly so don't bother about it and the next option is uh, ellipse so why ellipse is needed so uh, for ellipse we needed two values one is major axis and another one is minor axis let's see uh, how to draw ellipse so if i click on the ellipse option it prompts me to select the center point so this is my center point and this is my major axis and this is my minor axis okay by this way you can draw an ellipse uh, either you have to select the major axis and the minor axis okay and the next option is spline a spline is called uh, simplified uh, polyline okay so it doesn't have any uh, dimensional value so you can create a smooth line to create uh, uh, surfaces whatever it is right so uh, if you draw this line and say if you press escape the entire line will be vanished so if you want to close this just right click so uh, again you have uh, three options or two options one is open end and another one is closed end so these options will be covered in our later session so what is open end with fits and open end with control points so that is a that is a covered in our uh, modification tools options for that right now i say this is my open end so the created spline will be with the open ended okay so if you want to close the end spline so we have a spline and say right click and say close the end so it will be closed at the starting point okay fine so that is all about uh, spline the last option is construction points so why should i need a construction points construction points is used for a reference purposes so whenever you need a point on some spaces so i need a point over here here and here and here and here and here also so after this point by using this points i can draw lines so lines oh, by using a polylines polylines from here to here and here and here so it is very useful to track the uh, geometry or whatever it is uh, you can use the construction option and say uh, 
open it so the line will be created or else if you need a point so at the intersection of some uh, sketches so whenever you have intersection see uh, i have intersection over here see uh, if i zoom into over here so i have inter uh, intersection over here so i need a point on this point how to uh, create a point over this intersection so uh, for that you have an option called construction point at intersection so just select and this sketch and the sketch a point will be created so see a point is created over here so here also you can create a point so this is my first and this is my second a point will be created so here also we have an intersection so this is my point and this is my sketch and i have an intersection so after that by using that intersection point you can draw a circle or whatever it is you want you can draw from the particular area so here also you can draw a circle by using that particular line or the point okay so that is all for this video hope you will like the video and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and see you on next video